So yes, today I'm wearing a wig because it's fun. And I'm wearing glasses to make myself look smarter. Because only smart people talk about stuff like this, clearly. <laughs> so I was learning some really interesting things in my course. Uh, I just studied um, addiction, like substance abuse or alcohol, uh, that kind of thing. And um, as many of you know, my father uh, is an alcoholic. And uh, I never had much respect for him and for what he put us through. Um, and so when I would hear about someone being a junkie or an alcoholic or something, and like, what are they doing with their families? And, and you know what, I, I, there was all this stigma around it, and I just, like, I didn't understand. And um, I'm really not excusing what my father did to me. Um, I'm really just saying that now I, I understand, uh, I understand things so much. Molly, you're not part of the video. Um, I understand things so much better. <laughs> um, and I thought it was completely fascinating. I watched this like four and a half hour video uh, of, of, of a teacher lady uh, telling all kinds of stuff about the reasons why brain and the, the brain and addiction. And I want to teach you guys, but not in four and a half hours. I'm going to try and wrap this up as, as short as I can because I really think it's important for people to understand this because it's freaking interesting and it might help you respect others a little more or respect yourself a little more. And yes, the glasses are down because I'm blind when I... Yeah. <laughs> okay, so I don't have a black pen. I mean, I do, but I don't have no idea where it is. So. Um, here's, you know, your head, <laughs> and your, your pretty neck, um, and at, here is, you know, obviously it's smaller, but that's the, the, where you keep your neuro, where, well, you, where you keep, where your neuro, neurotransmitters are, um, in your brain. Um, okay, so then there's this, this neurotransmitter thing, and usually, for most people, it's full. Um, it's full of neurotransmitters. And what these neurotransmitters do is they make you feel good. Um, they make you feel satisfied, happy, okay uh, in your life. Um, keeps your mood up. Um, but for some people, we're just gonna pretend that their neurotransmitters are in the middle of their head for some reason. It's like, say, half empty. So instead of being full and maybe like saying what the example they gave was a billion, a billion um, neurotransmitters of all kinds of, there are seven, there are seven kinds that she mentioned neurotransmitters. Um, instead of being a billion, it would be like say half a billion. Okay? So half a billion neurotransmitters. And since it makes you feel good, here you're not so good. And is this something that you just develop later? No, you're born with it. And it can be seven generations back. So if your parents had it, you're very, you're very likely to have it. You're really likely to have this, what they call now, a uh, brain disease. Um, and so the brain disease is basically that you don't have enough neurotransmitters to keep your mood up, right? So um, you're born with it. And um, generally, like, um, say you wouldn't notice really in, 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 the, in a baby when you're born, but they're born with it, you wouldn't notice. But when they get to about, like, say, seven or eight years old, um, is it backwards in this, uh, <laughs> in the camera? Oh, that sucks. Um, sorry, it blows. It, no, that's even not... The same thing, even. PG-18. <laughs> okay. Um, when you're about seven or eight years old, uh, you start to feel that you're a bit different than, every other, than other people. Why? Because they seem like they're happier. They seem like they're more content. Uh, they seem less anxious. They seem all this stuff. Uh, because you have half and you don't have enough of what it takes to be content and happy so when people say happiness is a choice and you should just like buck up and or something like that or or just like 
I don't know, like there are moments, like I think it was what the bucket said this, uh, there are moments when he could be down, obviously, but you know, pick yourself up and, and you know, just be happy, like it's your choice, like just have an overall good mood. But it's not possible for everyone, because they have this, they're born with half of the neurotransmitters. Okay, and so let's say if, you know, um, you, you go to the hospital uh, and you're, you have some kind of an operation. Um, so the person with, uh, and you each get morphine, okay? The person with uh, enough neurotransmitters isn't going to need morphine, for, feel the need to have morphine afterwards. But the one that had half is like, you know what, I feel so much better, and you know, they get dependent, they have to, you know what, I have to have it, I have to have it, and they take more and more until they get so, so dependent that their neurotransmitter, and every time their neurotransmitters go up. So let's say instead of having half a billion, they have like a quarter of a billion, this is really well done, they have a quarter of a billion um, more. Um, so then when they go off the morphine after a while, and it can last a while because the neurotransmitters, they can last. They can last for quite a while. Uh, and then they go down, but then you need more. So you take more morphine. And after a while, it gets to be you need more and more and more. Like I think that a lot, a lot most people know that, uh, that you need more and more and more. Um, which is the same with any other drug. So that's like why some people can be drug addicts and other people can be drug users, like occasional drug users. If this person, uh, say, uses cocaine or weed or whatever uh, occasionally, why aren't they addicted? Because they have enough and if they take um, cocaine um, and it does get that, that initial high, but when it goes down, uh, their neurotransmitters are still the same. They didn't get more neurotransmitters and feel super, super happy, uh, like elated or anything, because it stays the same. For them, they, the drugs or whatever uh, doesn't create more neurotransmitters in the normal person. Okay, um, but it does in the person that doesn't have enough neurotransmitters, that has this brain disease. So if they take the drugs, they will get addicted because they're like, you know what, if, if they have this feeling and, and, and they were feeling so bad before, and they're like, you know what, this feels really good. So obviously they're going to take it again. You want to be happy. You want to feel good. Uh, instead of feeling like you have half your neurotransmitters. Um, so, um, okay, and so, I, yeah, so I mentioned earlier, a lot of people know that you have to take more and more and more as time goes on uh, in order to keep that feeling. But as time goes on, Sorry, I just knocked the tripod. Um, as time goes on, uh, you get less, um, less and less neurotransmitters. So instead of having ha a half a billion, uh, eventually you might end up with like, say, it's backwards, 10,000. 10,000 neurotransmitters, and I'm pretty sure at that point you feel like shit. Um, and your brain just, as, even if you keep taking the drugs and taking the drugs, your brain isn't going to make more neurotransmitters. It's been kind of ruined by the drugs. Um, so you started off with half a billion and to feel better you wanted to go up, but you actually ended up going down. And the only way to fix this is to stop taking the drugs, which is easier said than done, obviously. Um, it needs extensive, extensive work and, and years. Um, but it can be done, and in that time, the brain can sort of, uh, it regenerates. And it won't regenerate to be full. It will go back to the half a million. Half a million. But half a million will feel pretty good compared to 10,000, right? So, um, yeah, but there are foods, apparently, that can help uh, increase the neurotransmitters. And, you know, it's not like drugs or anything, but it doesn't, and it, it doesn't like, deplete your, your neurotransmitters and go, make them go down to 10,000. The foods will actually help. And I'll make another video uh, describing what foods help what moves like depression, anxiety, uh,
For peace sake, you can see me right here. Depression, anxiety, and all that kind of stuff. Oh, that'll make a separate video because I don't want this to be too long. I'll have this video explaining why this is, and another video explaining what you can do to increase your neurotransmitters so you don't feel like you have half a billion um, neurotransmitters, like, so that it's not... Anyways, um... I think I explained that correctly. Um, it just explains why it is that some people, you know what they say, um, drug addicts, it's, you know, they're, they're deadbeat junkies. Um, and, and they have like, the, you know, low moral characters or something like that. It really has nothing to do with it because anybody in that situation, wouldn't you want to feel better? Wouldn't you want to do something? And once you have that, you just lose control. And it's the brain disease, and they explain it as um, addiction to drugs not being the disease, but being a symptom of the disease. The disease is this, is the, the lack of the neurotransmitters. This is the disease, this is the brain disease. And the addiction or, uh, to drugs or alcohol, uh, that's, that's a symptom. That's because of it. And so, um, I really just want people to understand themselves and understand others because there's such a low opinion of them. Um, you know, deadbeat junkie, uh, you know, all, all these kinds of uh, phrases. Um, but these are just people who need help. And, uh, yeah, <laughs> I think I just... I think I explained it well. I have no idea how long this video goes. I'm, I'm recording in better quality. I hope you guys can appreciate that, but I really just don't know, have no idea what time. Oh, and by the way, Laura, uh, Laura Lejeune, I, when I stayed at her place, uh, I, I told you about my uh, incredible Moroccan rug that I paid way too much for. This is it. <laughs> I'm just going to show you here. Um, wait. Uh, no, that doesn't help. I'm going to move the tripod up. See? This is my Moroccan rug. Um, I, <laughs> I just got, they were like, ooh, the people, the people, they need money, they need help. So I was like, I just couldn't say no. I was just like, I hope there's no money in the bank and then I ended up going through anyways. But so I just wanted to show Laura the, the rug. So anyways, yeah, another video, I'll, the next video, probably, I'll make a video on uh, foods that you can take to increase your neurotransmitters. If you already have enough neurotransmitters, you're not going to get more. But this is if you have that, have an issue where your mood is always down, chances are, this, there's a possibility, like I'm not going to diagnose you, but I'm just saying that this is a possibility for you. And if those foods help you, then maybe that's a hint. So hope you enjoyed the video, hope you understand things better. Um, oh, I made a tum I made a Tumblr account <laughs> like yesterday and I put a few things up. Um, I I my name was already taken, my username, I drank the seawater was taken and uh, it wasn't written on their uh, account that it wasn't me. <laughs> so they took my name and uh, didn't say, hey, I just, you know, this I'm not actually, I drank the seawater. So they were posting things and I don't know, like it just made me a bit upset about that. But uh, so my name on Tumblr is uh, I drank the seawater is me. It's me, I drank the seawater. So uh, you can subscribe to my Tumblr or follow or whatever it is you call it on Tumblr. I'm not used to it yet. Uh, I'll also put a link to my uh, Facebook. Bye.